Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And as you saw in the title of this video, this is going to be a little bit of a U or YouTube, <laughs> oops, an eBay haul. Um, just a couple little things that I got that I kind of wanted to show you guys because nobody in my house thinks, nobody in my house thinks it's, uh, it's interesting when I love them. So and I knew you guys would too. So I, that's, that's why I'm showing you my little haul here. So first off, I will show you. I got two of these dolls. Now, my original intention was that I was going to make the dresses for them, and then I was going to give one to my niece. Well, then they came in, and I was like, oh, I really love them. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end up just keeping them for myself. But, I'll show you both. These are, get the glare off, right there. These are called Katie dolls. It says, hi, I'm Katie, the beautiful collector craft doll. I have my very own instruction books with patterns for creating a complete wardrobe to crochet or sew. Some of these books appear on the side panels. So if you look, you can see that one's, cro let me set this one down. <laughs> it fell over, <laughs> sorry. So that one's crocheted. That one's crochet. That one's sewing. And that one's crocheted. And then that one's crocheted. Uh, that one's sewing. That one's sewing. And that one's sewing. Right? So, so, so. Crochet, yeah. So like I showed you guys, I got two. I got a brunette and then I got a blonde. So I am going to take her out of the box. She's got a hairnet on. Oh wow. She's a really, a really thick plastic. Very sturdy. Her face looks dirty. You can see it on the tip of her nose. I'm a mom. <laughs> there. Came right off. Her hair does look quite pretty. Does that remind you of anybody? <laughs> Ooh, I like her. See, I don't I don't think I could give her away. She's pretty. Hair gets a little, we can do something with that. She's got shoes. Her dress is a little dirty, but I mean, the Craft Doll Collection 1991. That was six. Okay, so uh, I got her and then I got that blonde, but then I got a pattern book and I love that and I think it's thread bedspread weight cotton bedspread is that uh, bedspread weight is that a size 10 thread Can somebody answer that in the description box is that is that is a uh, Bedspread weight crochet cotton. Is that a size 10 thread? I'm not sure. It looks like it. That is cute too. I'm gonna get this close because I want you guys to see. Doesn't that look like cot or a thread? But anyhow, so it has these two patterns, and then it has a cowgirl dress, a bathing suit, and a bathing suit cover-up. But I thought that, oh, she's got straight hair. Look at her. Never noticed that. Yeah, she's got straight hair.
But yeah, this says it, it's specifically for the 14 inch Katie doll. I am super excited to do that, to make these. Our intended for <laughs> Aw, a special note, these dolls are intended for children from eight to 98. Good, I'm in there. <laughs> Join Katie's fan club. If you love Katie and want to become a member of her fan club, send your name and address to the address listed below. You'll receive your membership card, a free pattern, available to club members only, and a subscription to Katie's newsletter, which will bring your, you information about new patterns and accessories for Katie. That's cute. I wonder what would happen if I send a letter to, a letter to that address. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway. So I got the two dolls and I got this little pattern book. And then I found this and she is a, okay, so if anybody that knows can tell me how to pronounce this, that F-I-B-R-E, every time I see it, I just instinctively say fiber and I know that's not it, but I say fiber. But she is a fashion, 11 inch fashion doll. Let me turn her head so she's facing forward. But look at the dress pattern. Rodeo Ruffles crochet outfit. says sport weight yarn. That's fine. Some pony beads. She's a pretty doll. I'm trying to get it where it doesn't have a glare on her face. But I saw that it came with the pattern. I was like, heck yeah, I'll buy that. What year does this say? 91. But I got her and then I found this and I was really, really shocked when it came in because I did not expect it to be this big or this pretty, but this is a, where is the, where's the measurements? I don't remember how tall she is. I want to say she's 16 inches tall. I think she's 16 inches tall. She is the Victorian lady tea party dress. And so there's different, well, I'll just show you first. So this is her. Very pretty doll. And there is her crochet dress. There. You can see that better. Looks like a jacket maybe right here long sleeves and then there's the bodice of the dress and then the skirt some lace right here I was I pulled this out of the box and I was like oh, whoa <laughs> holy cow said poseable head and swivel arms you can see the, the joints right there so her legs don't move, I'm just noticing that, so I'm gonna have to get a doll stand for her. I don't have any of those. I'll have to find some, but... So, but what I was gonna say was that there are several other um, dolls like this, but this is the only one that has the crochet, uh, crochet dress. The rest of them are so... Oh, you can see them right there. They come with a sewing pattern dress. This is the only one that comes with crochet. But, um, so there's a blonde and there's a brunette one. And I, I couldn't find the brunette one, so I was just happy. Well, I'd say she's almost like a strawberry blonde. She's reddish, blue eyes. Oh, but I, I just think this is so pretty. God only knows when I'm going to get started on this. I'm looking for a year. 2002. 
Well, it says package design. I'm assuming that's probably when the doll was made. But that's her. Very pretty. And then I got some other stuff I want to show you guys. If I can figure out where I sat it. I found first these two patterns. So it's a little girl dress and then a little boy outfit. And I, I saw these and I thought I'd really like to make these, but I would like to have the doll it goes, the dolls that they go to. You know, I just don't want some just random baby clothes. I can design that myself. I wanted something, I want the dolls with it. And I happened to find them. <laughs> so I definitely thought these were a little bit cuter when I seen them online. And then when they came in, I'm like, huh. I guess they really aren't that cute. <laughs> but I got two. I can't resist. <laughs> so I got these two. And then I'm going to make them these little dresses. Those little dresses, little outfits. And, um,. I have to tell you guys, so I have several different like baby dolls that fit into, um, they're the dolls that I use for the sizing of the baby thing, baby clothes that I make, and I named them. So there's uh, Charlotte, Bonnie, Louise, Carol, um, and Olive. Now f Charlotte, Bonnie, Louise, and Carol all come from something. If somebody can tell me or email me or in the comments let me know what that's from. I'd be completely shocked if anybody knows what they're from. But, so I named them, and then Olive, that's not from anything. But, I decided to name these two Mickey and Mallory. <laughs> and if somebody knows what that's off of, comment it down below and let me know. So, I am going to crochet Mickey and Mallory some outfits. <laughs> so, I got those, and then I seen this pretty dress pattern. And I just thought, that is so pretty. I love that. It's very, It reminds me of... Uh, oh... Um, Gone with the Wind. That's it. It reminds me of Gone with the Wind. Doesn't it? Actually, I think her dress is white and green, not green and white. But anyway. And I was like, ooh, I really, really like that. Well, and you can see right here it says, Use with 11 and a half porcelain look doll. So... Let me pause this real quick. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But this is the... It says, use with 11 and a half inch porcelain look doll. So I thought, all right, next search is an 11 and a half inch porcelain doll. Because I want to make this. And... I found one! <laughs> now, she was in a bag. Actually, right here. But I got excited and I wanted to open her. But it says 11 and a half inch porcelain look doll. And she's red headed, just like her. And she's got really pretty green eyes. Now, I will have to say, these are, well, shh, looking for a year. Oh, 1989. Wow. Okay. Um, so I will say that these, this doll and then the other, well, these two dolls are just, you know, that, that regular kind of, uh, plat, that regular plastic. This doll is still, and she's heavy. The Katie doll, she is still, she's a nice doll and heavy and I, I've still, I love that. But anyway. So she's got the little movable arms and legs, and her head turns. It's interesting they say porcelain look, because I'm assuming by that they mean that she looks like she could be porcelain, but I mean, 
I really don't think so. <laughs> and it doesn't show up on camera, but in person, her head is actually a like a creamier color than her body. Like her head and body are two different color, but you can't see it on camera. Anyway, so I, I'm gonna make this. Very, very pretty. I love her. Reminds me of my twin sister. She's got red hair, curly red hair like me. All right, so then I've got two more things to show you and I can't reach one of them. So then, of course, when you are searching for something on the internet and you find what you like, eBay recommends, hey, you like this, you're going to like this. And of course they were right, I did. And it showed me, well, it showed me two things, I'll say. Oh, excuse me. It showed me this, a lovely Tina, uh... Crochet a dress, hat, slip, and pantaloons with, used with a 16-inch Tina doll. And I was like, eBay, why are you doing this to me? I don't want to spend any more money, but I love this. <laughs> so, of course, I put that in my cart. Well, then I saw a picture of another dress. And, then, and those were the only two dresses that I had seen for a 16-inch doll. I looked and looked and looked for the 16-inch Tina doll. I looked and looked and looked all over eBay and I could not find this other dress. And I really wanted it. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna look on Etsy. And I looked on Etsy and Etsy had it, but you don't actually get like the pattern. You get a printable pattern. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go with that. So the other dress I bought is that one. Very, very pretty. just about look the same. So of course I have to get the dolls and I found two of them and I was so excited. So the first one I found was her and she actually comes with a doll stand and um, I, I was so upset because when she finally came in the box was just mutilated and the top of the doll stand was shoved out the top of the box and then like bent like that and I'm like <laughs> dang it but I got her out of the box and I you can see see how it's I bent it all back to well I tried the best I could bend it back into shape and she's got a soft body with the hard arms and legs and a poseable head but oh, I was so excited when I saw that. And I thought, yes, ma'am, you are getting a pretty new dress. I was just realizing, like this one has a name, Erin. So her name's obviously gonna be Erin, but well, I don't know what to name her. Well, I could, Tina, but that, I've got two of them. But anyhow, so I got this. She's gonna go perfect with my collection. And then, oh, I'm trying to set her down. I finally found a girl to go with her. And this is how she came. See if I hold here for a second if it'll get me a thumbnail. Ta da! <laughs> okay, I am gonna open her. Oh, look at the bag. It's got a. I bet that's where it hung on the shelf. Warning, it's gonna get loud. 
Okay. Her leg is really, really sticky. Can you guys see that shine? Uh. Of course. I used to have those cleaning wipes in here. I'll have to do it off camera. Ew, and it's sticky. Like that old plastic. Nineteen ninety-two. She's pretty. She needs her hair kind of flipped out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm just noticing her fingernails are painted, and so are the little dots on her hand. And her, well, one foot's yellow, one foot's orange. So I bet she sat in the sun for a while. So are hers. Painted, I mean. So I wonder if they came like that. I bet they did come like that. Well, how cute. The leg touched me. I'm a little disappointed she's sticky, but I can take care of that. No big deal. They both don't have shoes on, so I'm okay with that. It says 1992 Tina Halbig. But she will get a pretty new dress and get cleaned up. I wish I had those shoes, dang it. I don't, neither one of them come with the shoes, but that's okay. All right, let me make sure that is everything. So I am gonna get off here and I'm gonna go wash. Oh, you can see it really good right there. I am gonna go wash her legs. See all that shiny? That's actually like a sticky all right so i'm gonna get out of here subscribe if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed leave me a comment let me know what you guys think and answer the questions i oh I, I don't even remember what the questions were now oh how do you pronounce that and then whatever that other question was i don't remember but thanks <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the greatest. Subscribe, comment, check out my description box, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!